Hey, we are live. Sharing it. I think you just did. Here it is. Hold on, everyone. We will be there in a second. All right. Hello, everyone. Can I make this? Hey, uh, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to our very first live stream page. Yes, we finally got it up and going. Welcome, everyone, today to the BDSM Puppy Furry, the BDSM Society. BDSM Pup Society, I am Pup. Phoenix, and this is... I'm Alpha Pup Mischief, Mischief, and this is my boy, Alpha Pup Phoenix. Alpha. No, sorry, Pup Phoenix. So today our topic is... Today our topic is about slandering, cyberbullying in the, within everywhere, practically. That you want to talk first? <clears throat> okay, so we've been noticed... I've noticed, and I... Here in the community and the puppy community and furry community, practically everywhere you go, there's always bullying and slandering. I mean, like just recently, my pup here just had someone apparently, well, we had one of our friends supposedly tell us that the, supposedly this hacker was trying to hack into my fiance's account and just start nothing but drama with him just because he didn't like him. It's, I, in my honest opinion, I think it's very sad and it's very disappointing to see within the community, you know, this community used to be so open and caring, but now it's just like, just because one person has a better hood than somebody, another puppy, they're like, I got a better hood than you, I don't like you. It's sad, and I don't know why we feel the need to bully or slander just because where someone's trying to do the right thing or someone does one thing wrong within the community, everyone's just like, we got to make sure this person is never liked again. Okay, so I have a few things. I have a few things to say to in regards to the slandering. It's not just the furries. It's not just the puppies. It is also the... <clears throat> Slander in the LGBTQ community. It's not just puppies. It's also drag queens. It's, um, so you know, everywhere, that's what I just said. Everywhere you go, there's slander and people are just cyberbullying. Most of the people with titles tend to do most of the slandering. Most of them, if not all. It's not just because you don't like my puppyhood or you don't like my personality. It is what it is. Or just because they win one title, they're like, oh, I'm better than everybody, so I get to judge whoever the fuck I please and get away with it. Anything else, Daddy? 
it's the same thing goes in the furry community. I've I'm also a furry guys. If you guys are wondering, I go by the furry I go by furry name Pluto. And by the way, if anyone's a little curious, there's so Put up straight boy. Good boy. I go by the furry name Pluto and everything, and I've even noticed within the community that even in the furry fandom, I've had one person, just because I have a partial fursuit, one person literally told me, oh, you're not a full furry? No, I just have a partial. And they're like, they literally told me, well, you don't belong in the fandom. Even... I've even seen people, like new people who are in within the fandom who are new to the community, they get judged and bullied just because they don't have a full fursuit. Okay, so let me say something about these suits and gear. First of all, you don't have to have gear to be a puppy. You don't have to have gear to be a furry. Regardless if it's a partial or not, I still believe you're still a puppy. I originally started out with nothing. And then now I have so these, I. I have this, he has that. That makes you a puppy. You don't have to have gear to be somebody. For the new pups and handlers, I am sorry that the community may possibly, and just to be aware, the community may end up slandering you. The community may end up saying that you're a bad person, but in reality, you're not. You're not a bad person. They're just bad people out there who think they're better than you. But you just got to remember, do what you love and everything, no matter who tells you what. And in the end, you're going to end up doing good in your life, and you're going to get far in this community. And I want to put this out there and everything, and I'm just going to make this point blank and clear. I recently came across a message who about a pup who was also a furry and everything he went to his very first furry convention and i'm just going to come out and say this i don't know if we allow if you want loud swearing on this um not really okay just he, bleep it out he complained 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 about just because it was his first furry convention he was like nobody noticed me I it was horrible. I didn't get nobody noticed me, so I'm not going to ever be a furry ever again. And he goes like the same thing with the puppy community. I went to my first pup meet and everything. Nobody noticed me, and so I'm never going to be a puppy again. Here's what I need to explain to everyone: when it comes to being a furry, what you put into the community is what you get out of the community. Right. Like if you go to a like, if you go to a furry convention, you, I know there are people out there who are wallflowers, who are, like, shy, who don't know what to do. Take your personality of your fursuit, make it, let it be open and everything. So when you're wearing your fursuit, I guarantee you when you're, like, walking around or getting pictures with everybody, hugging them and everything, I guarantee you, you're going to have a wonderful time. Same goes for the puppy community. If you're shy and everything, let your inner pup side out. So when your pup side comes out, you're like, oh my God, I'm having a wonderful... You're going to have a wonderful time. You're not going to sit there and just be like expecting everyone to come to you. Because my first pup meet, I was completely shy. I was <laughs> very, very scared. But when... I started opening up and everything. I started to notice people. I opened up to people and they opened up to me. And I started to notice I'm having a wonderful time. Okay, so I have something to say in regards to, because me and... So, basically, everyone, I believe in... Um, so, my daddy and I went to a pop meet a few weeks ago um he was very scared as pluto um today i think we'll do a segment about furries just to get us caught up um but he was very scared and very um nervous nervous 
So I kind of helped him out to come to be his inner self. To be a puppy, you don't have to take over when you're a puppy and everything, you don't when you're a puppy and everything, you don't have to, you know, expect no you when you're new to the puppy community, you don't expect to automatically know what to do. Like as soon as you come in, they're just like, Hold on. As soon as you come into the community, you're like, Oh, here you go, here's your first puppyhood. Welcome to the community. That's what most people expect when they go to the first puppy meet. They expect like everything to be handed to them because they don't know what to do. It takes time and it takes time and honesty and doing a little bit of research to know if the puppy play community or any type of you know community for you is like, you know, for you. So, I recently went to a little event and a puppy event. I did not feel welcome. I did not feel wanted, but a few of the people that I knew, um, we do not mention names on here, just a very nice cu couple puppies. I first was wrapped up in suits and everything, and I was kind of moody that night because I was kind of excited to be wrapped up in. Um, what was it? Saran. Saran wrap. So everyone was looking at me like, what is he doing? What is he doing? I was kind of nervous because this is my second MOSH event, which, by the way, is thank you, Chicago Paw Patrol. Yes, we are giving you a shout out. For represent. A, we represent. We're from Belvedere, Illinois. Um, I was kind of nervous because of the fact of the matter is that my name in the community is so messed up because of people slander people's names. I'm a very sweet, intelligent puppy. I used to be an alpha. Represent. But anyways, I used to be an alpha. I turned it down to my daddy because of the fact of the matter is I can't handle having puppies. I can in a certain level. But um, yeah, it's just amazing on how the Chicago Paw Patrol represent once again um i had felt that my because my name was slandered in the community so much no one had talked to me it's like some puppies did and some sirs did but then when they noticed that i was a great person they had said well he's not a bad person at all let's just welcome him me and my alpha uh, when i do get a job i do plan on paying a membership to paw patrol and possibly catch some rides with some people. But um, yeah, I think we're going to end this live feed. I hope it was helpful. We will probably do a furry segment later on today when you're ready, Daddy. Yeah. Um, we're going to we'll do it later on today and everything. Um, I hope you guys are like, really excited to get some fursuit knowledge in to, you know, when you see a furry and everything, what to do, what not to do, how to approach them and everything. And, you know, what to expect like you know when you see a furry you don't just want to go running up and like oh my god you're so cute and cuddly i want to hug you and everything because not all furries are huggers come just to point that out and everything not all furries are huggers because some people are like um can you not please or you know you're gonna guys are gonna get some good knowledge and everything about fursuit and i my, spe my special little guest who's been around for me with years and everything for plenty of years, my fur my close furry friend Pluto, he will be coming out and everything, and he will be teaching you guys what to do. Have a good one, guys. Bye.